Scene Script Have you ever wondered about the lengths people will go to lose weight? Yes, even to the point of ingesting parasites. In the quest for that perfect figure, individuals across the globe have put their bodies through a dizzying array of weight loss methods. From the sensible to the downright absurd, these tactics have included everything from juice cleanses and cabbage soup diets, to electrotherapy belts and fat-burning creams. But today, we're going to delve into a weight loss method that truly takes the cake for being bizarre and frankly a little stomach churning. We're talking about the practice of using tapeworms for weight loss. Now don't squirm in your seat just yet. This method, though it might sound like something out of a horror movie, is not a recent invention. The idea of intentionally ingesting tapeworms as a means to shed unwanted pounds has been around since the late 19th century. It was a time when corsets and cinched waists were all the rage, and people were desperate for ways to achieve the slender silhouette that was in vogue. The concept is simple, if a bit gruesome. A person ingests a tapeworm egg, usually in pill form. Once inside the stomach, the egg hatches into a tapeworm. The tapeworm then attaches itself to the walls of the intestines where it feeds off the food the person eats. The belief is that with a tapeworm sharing your meals you can eat all you want without gaining weight, as the parasite is consuming the calories instead of your body. But, before you start considering this as your next weight loss strategy, let's pump the brakes. As unconventional as it is, this method is not without its risks and they are far from trivial. This is not just about losing weight, it's about what you're willing to risk to do so. It might sound shocking but before you consider this as an option, let's dive into the world of tapeworms. Tapeworms are not a new invention of the diet industry. They have been around for millions of years, but what exactly are they? Belonging to a class of flatworms known as cestoda, tapeworms are fascinating creatures that have evolved to live as parasites in the intestines of various animals including humans. They are long, segmented worms that can range from less than an inch to several feet in length. Their bodies are made up of a head, or scolex, which latches onto the host's intestinal wall in a series of segments, or proglottids, each of which can produce eggs. The life cycle of a tapeworm is as intriguing as it is strange. It begins as an egg, which is eaten by an intermediate host, typically a small animal like a rodent or a fish. Inside this host, the egg hatches into a larva which burrows through the host's tissue and forms a cyst. When a larger animal, including a human, eats the infected intermediate host, the larva is released from the cyst and matures into an adult tapeworm in the intestines. Tapeworms reproduce sexually within their proglottids. Each proglottid is essentially a self-contained unit of reproduction, containing both male and female reproductive organs. After fertilization, the proglottid fills with eggs, and eventually detaches from the tapeworm's body to be passed out of the host with the feces. If these eggs are then ingested by another suitable host, the cycle begins anew. These parasites have developed several evolutionary adaptations that allow them to thrive within a host. They lack a digestive system, instead absorbing nutrients directly from the host's gut through their skin. Their scolex is equipped with hooks or suckers to firmly attach to the host's intestinal wall, preventing them from being dislodged and expelled and so, we see that tapeworms are not mere freeloaders. They are complex organisms that have navigated the trials of evolution to become highly specialized parasites. They survive and reproduce in environments that are inhospitable to many other life forms, and they do it with a certain ruthless efficiency. These creatures are not just simple parasites, they are complex organisms that have perfected the art of survival. Now that we know how tapeworms function, it's time to understand what happens when they enter the human body. Imagine you've just eaten a piece of undercooked meat. Unbeknownst to you, this meat was infected with tapeworm larvae. These larvae are tough, able to survive the harsh environment of your stomach, where they start their journey. Once they've reached the small intestine, they find a cozy spot to latch onto, using their hook-like mouthparts. Here, they begin their transformation into adult tapeworms. The tapeworm doesn't have a digestive system of its own so it absorbs nutrients directly through its skin. As you eat the tapeworm feasts alongside you growing longer and longer. Some species can reach an astonishing length of 25 feet or more. Imagine a ribbon-like creature stretching almost the length of a school bus, coiled inside your intestines. Now you might be wondering, would I notice if I had a bus-length parasite living in me? The answer is, not necessarily. Tapeworms are sneaky, they can live undetected in a person for years, however, some symptoms might hint at their presence. You could experience a change in appetite, either an increase or decrease. You might lose weight without trying, 
even while eating more than usual. Other signs include abdominal discomfort, nausea, weakness, or diarrhea. But remember these symptoms are common and can be caused by many things, not just tapeworms. In some cases, tapeworms might decide to go on a little trip. They can move to other parts of your body, causing more serious symptoms. This is a condition known as cysticercosis, where the tapeworm larvae form cysts in muscles, eyes, or even the brain. As you can see, tapeworms don't just sit idly in your gut, they can cause a slew of problems. The idea of using tapeworms for weight loss seems to stem from their ability to absorb nutrients. But how effective is this method really? Let's dive into it. Tapeworms, once inside the human body, are notorious for their ability to absorb nutrients from their host. This has led to a common yet misguided belief that they can be used as a tool for weight loss. The logic seems straightforward enough. If the tapeworm is consuming your nutrients, you're consuming fewer calories, which should lead to weight loss, right? Well, not exactly. While it's true that tapeworms can take in some of the food you eat, the amount they consume is not significant enough to cause a marked reduction in weight. In fact, the tapeworm's nutrient absorption is more akin to a tiny nibble of your daily intake, rather than a substantial bite. Moreover, the tapeworm's presence in the body can actually stimulate increased hunger, as the body tries to compensate for the nutrients being stolen by the parasite. This can lead to an increase in food consumption, which could potentially result in weight gain, rather than loss. Not only that, but tapeworms don't discriminate when it comes to the nutrients they consume. They're just as likely to absorb essential vitamins and minerals as they are fats and sugars. This can lead to nutritional deficiencies, which can have a detrimental impact on overall health and well-being. In short, the tapeworm diet is not a magic bullet for weight loss. It's a dangerous game of Russian roulette with your health, where the potential benefits are vastly outweighed by the risks. So, if you're considering unconventional methods to shed those extra pounds, remember this, there are no shortcuts to a healthy weight. It's about balance, moderation, and making sustainable changes to your lifestyle. So, the weight loss benefits of tapeworms are largely a myth, but the dangers, those are very real. Ingesting a tapeworm isn't just ineffective for weight loss, it can be downright dangerous. That's right, not only are tapeworms not your ticket to a trim waistline, they're also a ticket to some serious health problems. Firstly, tapeworms are parasites. They survive by leeching off their host, consuming the nutrients that you need to stay healthy. This can lead to malnutrition, even if you're eating a balanced diet. Imagine having a constant battle with an unwelcome guest for your food. Not the most pleasant of scenarios, is it? Secondly, tapeworms can cause intestinal blockages. As they grow, they can become quite large, several feet long in some cases. This can lead to discomfort, pain, and in severe cases, a blockage in your intestines. This is a serious medical condition that requires immediate attention and can potentially be life-threatening. But the dangers don't stop there. In some cases, the tapeworm doesn't stay in the intestines. It can travel to other parts of your body such as your liver, heart, or brain. This is known as cysticercosis, and it can cause serious complications including organ damage, seizures, and in severe cases even death. There's also the risk of passing the tapeworm on to others. Tapeworm eggs can be spread through contaminated food or drink, or through close contact with an infected person. So not only are you putting your own health at risk, but potentially the health of those around you as well. And let's not forget the psychological impact. Knowing that you have a parasitic worm living inside you can cause significant distress and anxiety. It's a heavy price to pay for a weight loss method that's not only ineffective but dangerous. So while the idea of a quick fix for weight loss might be tempting, the potential dangers of ingesting a tapeworm far outweigh any potential benefits. Remember, health should never be compromised for weight loss.